watazamaji wapendwa ninashukuru Mungu ambaye tena ametupa nafasi hii tuweze kushiriki pamoja kwa neno hili ninajua kwamba Mungu anatupenda dipoza tumekuja pamoja tupate kushiriki na nyinyi leo naenda kuzungumza kuhusu dealing with in-laws in-laws ni wale watu ambao watuwachagui ni watu tunajikuta tuko pamoja nao na wewe ukiwa hapo nyumbani unajua in-laws wako wote kabla hata hujaoa ulikuwa umeelekezwa ukaonyeshwa in-laws wako na kabla tujafika huko we know something here that every marriage has an extended family iwe na wajua ama wajui but they are there so we have father and mother in laws we have brother and sister in laws tuko na relatives of both spouses how pia ni in laws alafu father and mother for those that give birth to you how pia ndio nataka tuangazie leo kabla hatujakuja to those extended ones nataka leo ujue ya kwamba you have a father and a mother iwe na wajua ama huwajui we have them so nataka tuombe baba na kushukuru kwa neno hili la in laws naomba ya kwamba roho mtakatifu tusaidie utufundishe utushauri ikamilike kulingana na neno lako katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na kuamini na wote tuseme amen amen okay today's lesson nataka tuzumuze how to honor your father and mother kumbuka tunazungumza kuhusu in laws lakini kabla mjaingiana katika in laws you were born na the blessings of marriage inaanza na father and mother so your father and mother and your spouse's father and mother wakati nyinyi wawili mnaanza kuwaheshimu wazazi wenu basi hata ndoa yenu wakati mnakuja pamoja katika mpangilio wa Mungu it's a blessed a marriage so nataka tuangalie Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse number 16 Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse number 16 tuone nasema namna gani inasema waheshimu baba yako na mama yako kama bwana Mungu wako alivyokuamuru siku zako zipate kuzidi nawe na upate kufanikiwa katika inchi upewayo na bwana Mungu wako so Mungu alipatia maagizo wana wa Israeli na ndivyo hivyo iko hapa katika Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse number 16 kuheshimu wazazi wako na pia katika New Testament pia it says the same ukisoma Ephesians chapter 6 verse number 2 and 3 nayo inasema hivi honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with the promise na inasema that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. So katika scripture hizi mbili zinazungumzia kuhusu wewe mwanaume wewe mwanamke ya kwamba uheshimu wazazi wako. Wazazi that is baba na mama. Ukiwaheshimu it will go well with you. Going well with you inamaanisha mahali popoto naenda it's well with you. Hata kama unapitia changamoto it will be well with you kwa sababu uko na backing uko na source ya kile ambacho ni ahadi ya Mungu amesema ukiheshimu mzazi wako basi anasema ya kwamba it shall be well with you na maybe kwa njia ya kuelewa hata zaidi unaweza kujiuliza mahali ulipo kuheshimu wazazi wangu mimi naona na waheshimu ama sijawahi kuwatusi ama sijawahi kufanya lakini hebu tu, tuangalie kwa undani kabisa kile Mungu anamaanisha to honor yeah, to honor your parents number one, it is high respect great esteem his portrait to hang maybe kwa mfano ni heshima kuu sana kumaanisha kwamba heshima ni ile unamuinua juu na ni kama wewe uko chini yake kwa sababu yeye ndiye alikuleta hapa duniani. So kwa mfano hata kwa nyumba unapata baba yako kwa picha umeiweka yake juu yako chini. Kwa sababu unamheshimu. Si hati yako kwa nyumba yako, 
Lakini kwa sababu ndani yako najua huyu ni baba yangu, unaona ya kwamba chochote kinahusu baba yako unakiweka katika hali ya juu kwa heshima. Number two, the quality of knowing and doing what is morally right. Kwa hivyo ni hile hali ya kujua na ufanye kitu ya kiadili sawa. Kukosa kutoeshimu. Ntakupa mfano mzuri. Nikiwa nimekutana na wewe, nionge vibaya kuhusu baba yangu ama mama yangu. Wewe pia utaongea vibaya kuhusu baba yako ama mama yako. Hiyo ndiyo saa tunasema. Katika ile kiadili sawa ni kumaanisha ndani kilindini ya moyo wako unajua ya kwamba unamuheshimu mzazi wako hata kama anapendeka ama hapendeki lakini unamuheshimu wewe ambaye umejua utamuheshimu iwe yuko karibu na wewe ama hayuko. Number three, regard with great respect. Yaani unamuchukua kwa heshima kuu sana. Yaani kumbuka inasema it's a commandment to honor one's parents. It's a commandment. Hapa sasa ndio ilipofika hapo nikasikia nimeumia sana kwa sababu ati sio nipende mzazi wangu kwa hihari yangu lakini ni kwamba Mungu Baba ameniamurisha mimi nipende mzazi wangu na hata kama mzazi wangu ni mbaya hii ni amri amri ni kama kwa jeshi komanda akisema shoot sio wewe utaanza kusema ule ni ndugu yangu siwezi kushoot komanda amesema shoot inamaanisha you will shoot utakuja kueleza hayo mengine baadaye kwa hivyo god ametuamurisha sisi tupende wazazi wetu kwa hivyo sasa ni mimi ni ti nikikosa kuti basi na maanisha ya kwamba nimekataa maagizo ya Mungu na kwa hivyo sitafanya vile anataka and all will not go well with me na hapa ndio nilipofika mahali nikasoma this scripture by Philippians chapter 4 verse number 14 wale wanaandika kuna mwingine aliniambia saa ingine na, na repeat scripture kwa sababu niko na wa, wa, wanafunzi sikujua kwamba kuna wanafunzi wako hapo kwa kwa manyumba sasa wacha ni repeat e, wa Filipi 4 mstari wa 14 inasema ya kwamba yatendeni mambo yote pasipo manunguniko wala mashindano mpate kuwa wana wa Mungu wasio na lawama wala udanganyifu wasio na ila kati ya kizazi chenye ukaidi kilichopotoka ambacho kati ya hao mnaonekana kuwa kama mwanga katika ulimwengu Paulo anazungumzia haya kumaanisha ya kwamba mara nyingi sisi kama wanadamu tunanungunika kwa kila kitu tunanungunikia wazazi wetu tunalalamikia wazazi wetu na bila kujua ya kwamba hii ni amri ya kwamba tupende wazazi wetu na kwamba tusipowapenda basi anasema na yote haitakuwa sawa kwetu. Kwa hivyo sasa kama Mungu ametuamurisha hivyo na tunaona kuna ugumu basi inamaanisha tunarudi kwa Mungu. Tunamwambia Mungu mimi nimeshindwa hapa. Nipe nguvu ya kuweza kustahimili. Na haya atakupa na hapo ataweza kukuinua kwa njia nyingine tofauti sana. Kwa hivyo huyu ni Mungu ambaye ananena nasi na ni yeye Mungu ambaye aliweka amri hii. Nataka sasa tuangalie. What does the Bible mean wakati nasema you honor your father and mother? Nataka tuangalie four key actions. Yaani wakati sasa umetimiza ahadi ya Mungu, inamaanisha tena lazima uchukue hatua. Kumbuka hili neno tunalipokea kwa imani na sasa kupitia kwa hiyo imani kitendo. So katika the four action keys ndio nataka tuangalie hii amri tulipewa kwa sababu inasema the commandment to honor your father and your mother inaonekana katika biblia tumeiona hata kuna iko nyingine katika exodus alafu tumeona hiyo ya deuteronomy tumeona kuna nyingine in matthew chapter 5 15 verse 4 na hasa katika hiyo nyingine tumesoma lakini sasa kitu nataka kusema hapa the four action keys hizi ndio nataka tusome ya kwanza inamaanisha jinsi ya kuheshimu wazazi wetu nataka sasa tuisome pamoja na wewe ya kwanza inasema hivi appreciate them yani hawa ni wazazi wako sio ati vile wanakaa sio vile walivyoonekana lakini hawa ni wazazi wako huyu ni baba yako huyu ni mama yako basi appreciate them so that your father and mother be thankful about them for all they have done for you ninajua ya kwamba wazazi wote hawafanyi mambo mazuri kwa watoto wao. 
Lakini je, ulikuwa unajua kwamba kuna mambo mazuri kwa huyo baba yako ama mama yako ama ule alikuacha ama ule ambaye hakushughulika na wewe. Huyo mzazi huyo. Kuna kitu hapa Mungu anataka kunena nasi. Na hii kitu ni sisi kuimizana. Ni sisi kuelezeana ya kwamba these things are there. Na kumbuka, you are not alone. Kuna wengi iko the same. Hao wazazi wengine hawajui jinsi ya kuweza kulea wazazi, watoto wao, sorry. Na kwa sababu hawakulelewa vizuri, hawajui upendo wa mzazi. Na wewe sasa ambaye siku ya leo unasikia hili neno. Kumpuka huyu mzazi wako hakuwa na runinga labda ya kuona mafundisho haya. Hakuwa na Bible school maybe ya kwenda afundisho mambo haya. Na sasa wewe ambayo umeyasikia maybe Mungu alitaka wewe uyasikie na upate kuanza mambo tofauti ya kuweza kugeuza na kuanza kutii hili neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo hata tukiangalia eh, Proverbs chapter 7 verse 1 wale mtaenda kusoma lakini tukiangalia verse number 26 hapa inasema the bible encourage you to view your parents as your glory that is to be proud of them are you proud of your father are you proud of your mother are you proud of your guardians wale watu ambao walikuchukua kama huna wazazi wazazi wako wa ukweli wale watu walikuchukua na ukaanza kukaa ndani mwao are you proud of them hilo ndiyo kitu ambayo tunaangalia hapa katika hali ya appreciating them. Ukiangosoma sasa nataka tusome Proverbs chapter 17 verse 6. Pamoja nao inasema wana wa wana ndio taji ya wazee. Na utukufu wa watoto ni baba zao. Kwa hivyo there is a glory that comes juu yako wakati umeheshimu mzazi wako. Wakati umeheshimu mzazi wako Naye pia wewe ni utukufu juu yake kwa sababu anapokutazama he is proud of you. Na sasa wewe pia you must know mzazi wako ni utukufu wako. So ukijua hivyo you will appreciate your parents. Then tukiangalia namba 2. Tulisema ya kwamba tuko na vipengele vinne action plan ili ambao unaenda kufanya ianze kulete mabadiliko na mageuzi katika ndoa yako kwa sababu tunaona ya kwamba you did not come from nowhere. Wewe haukutoka no nowhere you came from a family. Inaweza kuwa ni your real father and mother. Inaweza kuwa you are, you are from the orphanage. Inaweza kuwa from your kuna mtu alikushughulikia. Na huyo mtu alikupa kushughulikia for that time alikushughulikia appreciate that person. Number 2 accept their authority. Yaani unakubaliana na mamlaka yao kwa sababu haya mamlaka yamekuja kwao. Kwa nini u, u appreciate mamlaka yao? You accept their authority. Ni kwa sababu pia wewe utakuja kuwa mzazi na ili ile mtiririko ulio wa accept authority yao. Na wewe pia watoto wako they will accept your authority. So kwa hivyo hii ni kitu kili chanzo chake tulisema ndoa inatoka kwa Mungu. Na Mungu is the source ya authority inatiririka mpaka inakuja kwa nao wawili wanakutana pamoja nao wanaanza uzao wao kwa hivyo the same chain ya authority inajidhihirisha inateremka mpaka inakuja kufika kwa hawa watoto kwa hivyo accept their authority na tukiangalia eh, luka mbili hamsini moja kuna scripture hapo inasema akashuka pamoja na hao mpaka nazareti naye alikuwa akiwatii na mamaye aliyaweka hayo yote moyoni mwake tunaona accepting authority hata Yesu mwenyewe wakati walikuwa natoka Yerusalemu kwa maombi wameshughulika kwenda nyumbani Yesu alirudi nyuma akaingia kwa nyumba ya baba yake na walipomtafuta kumupata na wakamuuliza kwa nini umetuacha akawaambia pana mimi nilikuwa tu hapa naongea na baba yangu walie juu mbinguni na tunaona hapa ya kwamba alipokuwa alishuka pamoja na hao mpaka Nazareti naye alikuwa akiwatii kwa hivyo alikuwa anajua baba yake ako mbinguni na bado alikuwa anajua kuna baba yake yule alie mulea that was Joseph na anawatii yeye na mama yake lakini wanasema ya kwamba na hayo yote mama yake aliweka moyoni mwake so we, we can see hata Yesu mwenyewe he accepted the authority number three, treat them with respect 